the world is at your fingertips. If you are a black American breathing today, if you're an American breathing today, like I said, you are the, the most privileged that has ever lived on the face of the planet. That's the truth. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we'll be reacting to Candice Owen on how to thrive as a black American. Guys, we'll get straight into this. Um, I, my question for you is, well, I wanted to say, my name is Khalif, um, and I agree with your comments about a lot of the struggles that black Americans do face in the country is due to the breakdown of the black family following the passing of the Civil Rights Act um, and the promotion of welfare, specifically toward black mothers and incentivizing them to not have their fathers in the home. I would say to you is, as a black American yourself who has made a platform, um, despite the country um, and the actions in our past and what's currently going on, what would you say is, well, one, I would know how do you feel like you were able to do so, but then also what would be your recommendation to me, another black American or any other one, to reverse the effects of the breakdown of the black family? Great question. So I think a couple of things that worked in my favor, I'm my granddaddy's girl, for better or worse. I mean, my granddad was stubborn as the day was long. I am stubborn, like I just saying to her, like I just, I've always been this way. Even when I was a liberal, even when I had the wrong ideas, I just demanded the right to be myself, right? I demanded the right to be myself and not be punished for being myself, right? Uh, least of all, if I wasn't doing anything that was wrong. And that's kind of what's happened. And so the first thing that I would say is if you wanna get ahead as a black American, stop allowing the media to allow you to see yourself as a black American. Start seeing yourself as an American, right? Just an American full stop. True. The second thing that I would say is that it, when, when you start doing that, um, the relationships that you are able to build, because part of them corroding everybody's mind is to make them perceive other people as the enemy. It destroys relationships, right? And the relationships that you are able to build, which is very much what I did in my life um, just by refusing the narrative, it became a superpower. It really, it really became a superpower. I was surrounded with friends that uh, inspired me, people that wanted to work hard and didn't want to mm. have any of the political correctness nonsense in the middle, like what can we build, how can we build? The world is at your fingertips. If you are a black American breathing today, if you're an American breathing today, like I said, you are the, the most privileged that has ever lived on the face of the planet, that's the truth. Um, and as soon as you remove the barriers that have been put up in your own minds, you'll be able to see it for the first time. Thank you so much. Guys, for me, I feel as a black American, you, you can try. I really don't see, I, I, I won't say I don't see color because I do, but like we are black and white. But I'll say this, like as a black American, I, I don't think there's any thing obstructing from being great. And I'll say this, what, what he talked about is true. I feel, I will not say the government, but I feel black people outside there have Especially in America, they have lost cultural values. I would say it because it's it's coming back to Africa. I would say, but like you see people getting divorced and stuff like that. But it was not so, and I love the fact that some Africans like I I, I don't think you judging people like African judging people is is I feel it's a it's a way of checking people's family and when you think about it in a, in, in a logical way it's good because if you know you're going to get judged you will not hit your wife and your wife will not cheat on you and there, there's a way you you check it like there's a way you you have to check yourself respect your spouse so you guys can coexist and the, the, the mindset of you divorcing someone will not be there because if I'm being honest like, if I ever get married, like, divorce is not an option. And you have been someone that have that mentality. I feel this is the mentality that Africans had before. And, you know, you are in for better for us until your spouse die. And I feel this mentality should be carried on. But I think this is what I would teach to my children. Because if you want to get married, you are supposed to be sure. Because I, I feel marriage is really just an end. For me, the Bible says you, you don't have the right to divorce your wife except your wife or your husband except infidelity. And if it's not infidelity, don't just do it. Like that's why I'll say this. Get married to someone that has sense. Because if you if you're married to someone that has sense, like he's not gonna hit you, he's not gonna cheat on you, like get married to someone that you know that you can coexist with, not just because you are bored or because he's handsome, but like, my, my son that has brain, I'll say this. 
But as a black American, I feel we need to fix our family. Like, it's something we need to fix. It's something we need to fix. Because you see families when single mother have to raise, like, five children from five different men is heartbreaking. Like, you hear some things in some DNA courtroom and you're like, whoa. More like you feel, you feel pain that you're black because some things people do out there does not like, it does not resonate with the culture, like it does not. And it seems that when you talk to them, they'll be like, I'm not the first that, that I've done it. It's, it's heartbreaking. And sometimes you just, there will be black, there will be bad egg in a crate sometimes though. But guys, tell me what you think about this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.